today we're at Southland RV. They specialize in Airstreams. You can see they have a bunch of them here. We're gonna be shopping for some tri travel trailers today. What are we gonna look at? We're gonna look at everything. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess maybe like under 30 feet more. Uh, something that you can full-time RV in because I would think if I'm like if we say if we ever did full-time camping and I had to work from the camper I wouldn't be able to do it in teardrop it's just too much like you know wilderness around me I'd be too distracted when <laughs> get any work done at all yeah so we're gonna be looking at the travel trailers and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a bunch of them uh, do little short reviews on them and show you you know things that we we think are cool about it and then um, we're gonna choose one that we would choose for ourselves if we were to get one and we would love to hear what you would choose down below see ya airstreams are so cool but they are on the high side in the price so Let's go look inside. Oh. They made the finishes better. Yeah. The color looks good. We've been in an Airstream before and it was very the finishes are very different it looks like they updated their finishes but they always had good cabinets like solid cabinets solid yeah cabinets. because they um i think their focus is making things high quality because they are um higher end in price so it looks like this drops down to probably make a bed no it looks like it folds down Yeah, I gotta see the mm -hmm. swing arm in the back. So yeah. It kind of like pops out and it goes down. Yeah, it folds down. So it looks like this folds down. And then they have like slide up doors for their cabinets. Um, they have two burner stove, um, a sink, small microwave. And little coat closet storage kind of thing. And your other sink is right here. So I could be washing something and Ralph could be washing something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Check out the bathroom. Fridge and the bathroom. So the door opens very interestingly. It kind of has like a fold. I think it uh, gives you that walking space instead of having it angled. Yeah. It gives you additional like one space. A little bit of space. Yeah. And then actually the shower is pretty, not too bad. I mean, can you go in there, right? I got like. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Ralph is 6'3 and it's. Um, pretty tight for him. He can't really stand up straight and it seems like the toilet At least he can, oh, he can close this one. Oh, he can, okay, so he can close the door and fit in there <laughs> And it looks like a Do you think this is like a full-size bed? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit smaller than queen. Yeah, like it's a it's a bit smaller than the queen so like maybe full, full and a half. Yeah, so it's a... A little TV right here. Oh, the TV's right there. Yeah. Okay. So that's the... Um, I don't know the exact model. I'll probably... Huh? It's a Bambi. It's a Bambi. Oh, this is the Bambi. I don't know the size of it. So this is the Bambi, um, but it, it is a little tight in there, but if you want something very compact, this seems like a good 
kind of solution for you but probably wouldn't be a good solution for us because Ralph can't even fit in the shower so <laughs> um, that's an important factor so yeah let's go look at some other okay now let's look at the bigger air streams so this is a 30 30 feet yeah flying cloud 30 fb flying cloud 30 oh, office. fb office oh i wonder oh. what the office means maybe it means there's an office for you it has an office <laughs> Let's go in. Oh, much more spacious. Of course, it's much bigger. <laughs> so it looks like this drops down, makes a little bed, extra bed area. Um, nice couch here. The TV's there, so if you sit here, you probably have to kind of like, yeah, watch TV on that wall. Um, and then I turn around, this is by the door, there's a bedroom, there's a little curtain, I guess, if you want privacy. Are these lacquered cabinets? Slacker. Yeah, yeah, it is lacquered cabinets. Oh, the sink is pretty big, which is good. Microwave. Is this, how many burners are there? Looks like a three, three. burner. Yeah three. yeah, three burner. One, two, three, and start. Good storage options, some drawers, cabinet, upper lacquered cabinet, um, decent sized fridge. I guess you could use like these for, oh, this is probably your pantry. This is like a coat closet. Oh, it's like a pull out drawer thing like a platform yeah platform drawer oh this is the office, this is the office. <laughs> check a... this out it's pretty cool oh it's a pull out drawer in the cabinet they have a place for a computer or for something back there and then the, all the plugins the monitor oh. for your wires the they got all the cutouts oh, for a work the... desk oh so if you, you get to have a little um, travel trailer office. <laughs> and bathroom. Sink. The bathroom is not too small, but it looks like the shower is short again. Try it out, babe. Oh, yeah, the shower is size. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Oh. Yeah, that's not too bad. At least has a seat. <laughs> Ralph might have to sit down and take a shower. <laughs> so maybe, let me try it. Yeah. Okay, so I guess like up to maybe 5'10". Aren't you 5'1"? I'm 5'6 and a half. <laughs> Um, so I guess up to like 510 it'll be pretty comfortable anything anyone above that might be kind of like touching the ceiling the bedroom's not yeah bad. the bedroom has like oh the TV's right here yeah TV's right there there's some storage hanging space and then some upper cabinet you got a little cubby so nooks a little cubbies for like maybe your phone and your like if you want a cup of water um reading lights mm -hmm. all right let's see three people um comfortably 
Yeah, yeah. I think like three adults, maybe four kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, like four, two adults and two kids can probably sit here. But adults, three. The next one we're gonna look at is the Nobo. It has, it looks like it has one pull out. And then the awning. Nobo 19.6. Let's go in. So by the door, there is a coat closet, a little bit of storage. The bathroom is by the front door. Wow. <laughs> Sliding glass round shower. Oh, oh, he can fit because there's a kind of a bump up. That was kind of smart. It's the skylight. Yeah, the skylight. So he, he'll have to stand right there <laughs> while taking a shower. But at least you can stand up. And then locks in a place. Oh, you got the sink, little medicine cabinet, under storage. You can tell the difference between the cabinets at the Airstream and other brands of campers. And a little toilet. Pretty good size refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Oh, the sink is round. Oh, it's huge. Yeah, it's that's good. Pretty big. <laughs> and then we can get two in there. <laughs> yeah, we could. Two burner stove with the microwave. Upper storage. Oh, okay. So the TV is here. Your couch is here. So it's actually a pretty good setup. You can sit straight and watch TV. And some storage above. So I guess this is like a Murphy bed right here. It looks like about queen size, right, babe? Yeah. And this is like a bar height and there's a couple of bar stools so you can sit by the counter if you would like this is a bed too oh so this is a bed too yeah like so a jack, jack knife oh okay and then i guess this is like a foldable table you just pull out if you want a dining table mm -hmm. but at least you have this permanent like bar set up so you could always he eat here if you don't mind but if the height of it is pretty good it's not bad yeah it's pretty cool. and then a couple of nightstands by where your bed will come down so if it's just two of you and you don't need a separate bedroom then it's a pretty good setup but if you want your bedroom to be a little bit more private then you have to kind of think about it because it's very open This is called the Retro by Riverside RV. It is $17.9, so a little bit on the smaller side. Ooh, very retro. <laughs> bathroom a little bit on the small side of course because it's a smaller rv but it does have a skylight so ralph should be able to fit in there 
It's a very unique interior. If you love the retro style, you may love it if that suits your style. So, and it's a queen bed with some nightstands and storage on the side. A little bit of extra storage above if you want to stick some Tupperwares with a bunch of things in there. Microwave, three burner stove, small sink, and refrigerator discreetly kind of put in with all the same finishes. And the dinette that turns into a bed. What is this? Is this a... Oh, it's a storage that you can access from outside. <laughs> it looks like cabinet door laying on the table. <laughs> so now we're going to be looking at the Apex Ultralight. This is 26. Oh, this is 24.5. It's, it's gotta have bunks too. I think the other one didn't have bunks. Yeah. This one reminds me of your parents' old camper. Yeah. They had a Jayco and this layout is very similar to what they used to have. Except the dinette area is a little bit different. This is a U-shape with the table. It's a pretty big U-shape. It looks like it could be like... Um, it could almost fit... No, it might still be three adults, you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, three... Comfortably, yeah. yeah, comfortably three adults and... Or two adults and two kids, comfortably. Um, there's the bunk area. I remember laying in something like this I can fit comfortably here and then Ralph used to lay here and then with his legs sticking out <laughs> <laughs> and then oh it's a big sink yeah. and some upper cabinets pretty spacious um, nice microwave three burner stove And then some drawers on this oven. side. Look at this one. <laughs> oh, there's a little oven. Oh. Decent size fridge and freezer. And I wonder if that um, TV is also rotatable. Yeah, it swivels. It swivels. Yeah. So you can watch it from here and then you can watch it from the bedroom. So the bedroom has nightstands, some storage on the side hanging, and some cabinet. Yeah, so the TV swivels as you can see here, and then so you can watch it from while you're laying down in your bed, or you can find watch it from the living room. Pretty good. And some curtains on both sides for privacy. So it's one pull out, so creates this dining area and the bathroom small corner sink with a medicine cabinet towel hanging a toilet not that big of a space but I'm sure you can make it work the shower goes in and then it has a skylight so should be pretty good. All right, now to the next. Oh, it has a little outdoor kitchen. Coleman stove slide out. And then a fridge. And then a little fridge. And then a soda opener. Look at that. <laughs> the details, the details. So 
so we're gonna go ahead and look at this black series because um who knows we may want to off-road and um do some real boondocking so propane storage See, it's pretty high off the ground so there's some clearance there's these guards uh, rock sliders rock. for like off-roading so when you hit a rock it'll, it'll just slide over it and it won't damage your camper you put them on your jeeps and four runners and we have those too <laughs> Big off-roady off tires. Wheels. And the model on this Black Ops is a HQ21. Screen door. It looks like it's made for a home. Actually, when you walk in here, it feels pretty spacious. I think it's all these windows that are around. Look at the huge windows. So it's like panoramic windows. So if you have a good view, I guess because this is the off-road kind of um, boondock uh, uh, our, uh, trailer. So they want you to be able to enjoy the view. So they made huge, I really like that. It felt bright when I walked in. Um, there's the kind of, they made this dinette almost like a little um, bigger and more comfortable looking. So let's see. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable because it's right in front of a TV. So this is like your dinette, but also kind of acts as your sofa, I guess. Um, so you can watch TV while you're sitting there and the kitchen is not big but it feels spacious again I think it's because it's like very open and bright um, some storage they did like a very um, oh it's push push open very contemporary kind of style cabinets The push opens can be a good thing or a bad thing because it it could malfunction. So it could but it's kind of cool and easy, so you know there's pros and cons. Pretty decent sized sink, three burner stove, a little oven, good size fridge microwave small microwave oh, that's a tiny microwave yeah it's a very tiny one um oh look yeah. at the control panel that's cool you got gauges for everything your water oh all your tanks that's that's cool yeah that's pretty cool what is this oh it's a little storage so everything seems like it's a push open so it looks very seamless and you know, it kind of it kind of hides all the cabinet. You don't almost know it's there. And then the shower, it's it's kind of like open. I think that door closes. And then yeah, the shower is here. And oh, okay. So this yeah. closes both ways, like for the toilet and here, so you can have privacy. And then this is your toilet and oh the sink is like more like linear that way and big mirror oh and like a another mirror here upper storage and they got a foam mattress for you here again there's pretty big windows in the bedroom so if, this will be a good one to take somewhere that has really great views kind of long countertop on both sides of the bed TV oh did you go in there <laughs> hello oh it's pretty spacious
spacious. That's you, pretty big. Yeah, you fit pretty. Actually, I think I would fit, yeah, everywhere in here. Yeah. He doesn't have to just stand where the um, skylight is. He can fit everywhere. For how, I, I thought it would feel a lot smaller in here because it doesn't even have a pull out, but for not having a pull out, it's pretty spacious feeling. Yeah, it, it, looks, it kind of reminds you of an airstream, the way an airstream is laid out. Yeah, but I feel like when you walk in, it feels more like spacious than the airstream. Oh. Because I think it's very like bright. Yeah. And all the windows. Mm -hmm. Okay. On to the night. Here's the outdoor kitchen on the, on the HQ21. Look at this thing. Oh, wow. It is actually extends out even further. Wow, this is a great outdoor kitchen. Dometic. The Dometic two burner. And you got a little sink right here. That's a big sink too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could actually fit a full size plate in here. Yeah. That's and then you, pretty... got a, you got a prep table. Well, you got a fish cleaning table. Yeah, that's cool. Then you press these latches down and it'll go back in. All right, if you're really into overlanding and being completely off grid, this uh, Taxa Outdoors, this is the Mantis. These things are really cool. The whole thing is modular, I think. I think you could actually take everything off of the frame. But it has like a pop-up. So I think it might fit into some garages. And then you have a pop-up so extend in it. But wow. you can just tell by all the, the components oh, that yeah, it's look at modular. The flooring. Very durable stuff. And I can stand in it. <laughs> and this thing I you open it to make a shower in the bathroom, right? What? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, there's the curtain. Oh, the shower oh, curtain. Goes, and then it hangs on these uh, <laughs> D-rings, carabiners, and then, uh, wow, that's cool. It's very interesting. Oh, look at like, for storage, they have like, crate boxes. Oh. Very outdoorsy stuff. And then I guess you put all the cushions out and this makes a bed. But yeah, you can see that it's very modular. Like these pieces are all like almost like a puzzle. And that back uh, door opens up. So it's, uh, you know, you, you'll be one with the wilderness a little bit more. One with the wilderness. The only thing that's not boondocking in here is this. And here's a cord. I haven't seen any outlets for AC, but they have a cord. I guess it can hook up to... Uh, to like campgrounds and everything too. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the only outlet I see in this trailer. <laughs> everything else is DC it looks like. Oh, there's, there we go. Okay, here we go. So you got your 12 volts. So I think it's completely, it could go completely off grid and you could just run off of batteries or solar. Oh, they give you handles though for <laughs> pretty cool though and they got a giant door Ooh. Ooh. it really holds it in and then they have a smaller model right there called the cricket there's another mantis i think we we've looked at a cricket before but these things are pretty cool looking uh, that one's locked. Wow. <laughs> Milk crates. And there's the bed and dinette right there. That's all it is. Oh, and the top goes up on these too. Oh, here we go, babe. Come here. Oh, it got some bunks for kids. Look at these bunks. Oh, wow. They got two bunks, so it's go like down. Bunk cots. <laughs> it's like a 
It feels like a like a durable tent. <laughs> it's like a tent, but a not a tent. I guess you can kind of make it the way you want because it's modular. Yeah, you could. I think it changes into a couple things: the bed and then the dining area. I think you can set it up because the back door opens. Yeah. Once again, you can. You can kind of maybe yeah sit here and then lift those up maybe. I think some of them have. Um, you open that back door and there's an the outdoor kitchen that slides out and then you can cook outside. Oh, that's big it feels very spacious when you walk in but how do you get in this way oh it spins it spins i was like there's no space to get in oh, oh i didn't see, realize like, that. there's no space right here so i was like how do people get in and then i pushed it and then it spins oh wow so you can sit like this you can watch TV because oh. TV's right there. The colors are good too. Oh, nice big sink. It's like a residential style. Oven. Oh, so no microwave. Is this like, oh, is this microwave? I guess it's a Duo. Convection microwave. Convection like microwave. Yeah. Two burner. And then fridge. There's fiberglass walls. <laughs> the fiberglass walls. Oh, toilet room. It's pretty spacious. Got a little bit of counter space, but a tiny sink. <laughs> Bathroom, I mean, shower with the skylight. And the mirror. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Yeah, this is the most walking space I've seen on the side of the sides of the beds with a trailer with no pull-outs. Look at the door. Barn door. Oh. oh, it's locked. Barn door. Pretty good sized TV. open those <laughs> don't break it hooks. ah because they couldn't put rods in there they put hooks in there that's pretty good got nightstand storage night light outlet Actually looks really good on the inside. And I like that how they have a little bit of 
because there's no counter space there. So they put an extra counter space here for prepping. Okay, now we're at Campers in RV. Um, not sure if you guys noticed, but at Southland, Southland RV, they have more campers that are a little bit more you like unique brands that you don't really see every day when you go to campsites. A little bit, um, I don't know what to call them, like little uh, off brands or more. Uh, like off-road brands and a little bit more, more specialty um, brands. Specialty brands. So, but um, I think Campers in RV here they have a little bit more um, brands that you might be familiar with. So let's take a look at some of those. <laughs> 